Okay, this is take five of the planet Mars in the constellation Pisces on the evening of October 18th, Sunday morning, uh, 12.55 a.m. And it's about four or five days after opposition and looking pretty nice. We have a 22 degree arc second wide planetary disk and lots of detail to look at. Upper right around the 1 130 position is a little tiny white spot. That is a polar ice cap. And across the middle diagonally you can see darker areas and in other places those would be like rocky somewhat highland in general areas and of course the orange stuff would just be like sandy deserts i believe and you can see on the edges on the left side nine o'clock position seven o'clock position four o'clock position some milkiness at the edges of the disc that might be clouds or well i would guess it clouds or atmospheric haze so uh, we're looking here through a Takahashi Muon 250 telescope, 10 inch aperture. Uh, set is running at f12, 3000 millimeter focal length. We have a 10 millimeter Teleview Delos eyepiece plugged into a um, Zeiss 2x Barlow. So the optical magnification is about uh, 3000 divided by 10 times 2 is 600 power. Camera is a Panasonic GH5S camera with a 40 millimeter Olympus f1.8 lens connected to the, or looking into the uh, Teleview eyepiece, and um, this is the result of what one gets. Camera settings are, let's see, uh, ISO 1250, shutter speed 30th of a second, and the camera set to 4K output 30p, so this should be a 4K video. Um, distance to Earth is about 0.4 astronomical units. We're about a half an hour after transit, so it's starting to get a little lower in the sky. It's roughly 60 degrees off the horizon. Super nice position from the northern hemisphere. I'm shooting this from a suburb of Los Angeles, California, from my driveway. And, um, couldn't be easier than this, really. Got the scope mounted on the astrophysics. Mach 1 go to telescope uh, mount other uh, and a um, product wave technologies pinnacle portable pier gives you a pretty stable setup actually the driveway is shakier than everything else so I don't want to step too much in my driveway but presently the seeing again has steadied rather nicely I took some takes earlier this is why I do multiple takes because the seeing varies from minute to minute, even when you're this high up in the sky. Either it's the seeing or earlier... Okay, what the heck is that? See that jumbling? Truck just went by about a quarter mile away. Wait a minute. What's that shaking? Oh, huh. well, maybe it's not the ground. Maybe it's something else. Not steady again. It's odd, though. Maybe we had a little earthquake here in California, and I just measured it astronomically speaking but it's a pretty crisp view I might try to take a few more stills of this bad boy so this is my Mars thing I could have tried this last weekend the weekend before but this is my chance to shoot it so here I am and it's going to slowly shrink you know as the weeks progress as we pull away from it instead of growing like it had been up until this past Tuesday but you know it'll still look good for a while a month or two at least probably up to Christmas and a little beyond. So there you have Mars, looking nice. Almost as big as it was back in 2003. I think it's about three arc seconds smaller than it was then. I think it was 25 arc seconds that time. This time it's 22. Because I had a scope back then, brand new scope, and it was pretty neat. Oh yeah, look at that, she's studying again. Ooh, look at you, you can see some veins in the darkness. Yeah, those dark regions. Hmm, nice. I wonder if this would have been better from a mountaintop. Well, anyway, it is what it is. I may try this again with my uh, refractor at some point. But let's call this a wrap. I'm starting to talk too much, and I need to wrap this up and get in the house. Okay, that's it. Mars, take five. Nice.